Hello, welcome back to Yoga with Paige. Today we have a sequence designed to bring healing relief for the sciatic nerve. This nerve starts in the lower back, runs deep through the glutes and the thighs and down the side of the leg. So we will be stretching all of these areas, trying to find that spot that gives us the most relief. So depending on your level of discomfort or where it's originating from, its cause, some of these postures may not feel good for you. And if that is the case, I highly recommend not doing them, relaxing in child's pose or just taking a few moment break while we flow through that posture. Like I said, this is meant to be a healing practice. So it would be a little counterintuitive to push ourselves to a point of pain. Your stretches, depending on your flexibility, your openness, and your level of pain may look completely different than mine, and that is okay. We are really just focusing on finding length and finding just a little bit of relief in the lower back and the backs of the legs. So whenever you're ready to get started, all we need for this class is your mat and your willingness to find some sweet relief for yourself. We start on our backs. So we can slowly make our way there. And we're moving with gentle care in all of these transitions and poses today. Extending the left leg long, bringing the right knee into the chest, just as far as feels good. We're gonna be working a lot through the backs of the legs and the lower back. So first, holding here, pulling it into the chest. Remembering to breathe nice and deep, helping your muscles release. We're going to take this right knee and gently cross it over towards the left shoulder. It probably won't go too far. We just want to feel this in the hips, the glutes, maybe even the hamstrings. And play around in these poses to find what angle feels the best for your body. This is all about you and feeling better. So find that sweet little spot and hold it. Relaxing the left leg, releasing tension in the shoulders. Exhale to gently release and bring the left knee into the chest. Pulling the knee in, feeling the hip crease. Just noticing the sensations in the body throughout this practice. Noticing where your tension areas are and what specifically muscles you're trying to target. The sciatic nerve runs through a lot <laughs> of muscles. Exhale. Drawing it across the body towards the right shoulder, nice and gentle. One more breath here. And then gently release keeping the sole of the foot on the mat, bringing the right up. We want the feet hip width apart, pressing the hands down into the mat, raising the hips, sending the pelvis up, trying to get a straight line from the knees, through the legs, through the hips, into the chest, the shoulders, squeezing everything here. This pose strengthens all of the glutes, hamstrings, thigh muscles, and it also helps improve your circulation. So we're gonna lower the hips down, take a little rest here, and then one more time, send them back up. Pressing through the mat with your feet and your hands. Breathing. And release. 
coming up onto the sit bones, crossing the feet at the ankles, scooting back to the middle of the mat maybe, and finding our tabletop pose. Preparing for cat-cow, spreading through the fingers. We want our hips over our knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Pressing the shoulders down. Exhale, round through the back, tucking the chin. Mobilizing through the spine. Finding length. Moving with your breath here. Maybe you're going at a different pace than I am. That's totally okay. Just finding what feels good today. One more round. And then we meet back in a neutral spine. Walking the hands forward, sending the hips back, coming into child's pose. We have an option here to keep the knees together. This does give you um, a better stretch in the lower back. But if we like, if this feels better, we can widen the knees a little bit, keeping the big toes together. Melting the chest down, maybe opening up a little through the hips as well. Finding length in the spine. Stretching it all out. Reversing the compression that usually accompanies issues with the sciatic nerve. Deep breaths here. Exhale, release tension. And on your next exhale, inhale, lift the chest, pressing through the hands, tucking the toes, and lifting the hips up for downward facing dog. Sending the hips up, trying to get the heels down, big toes together. Bringing the head in between the biceps, trying to find as much length in the spine as we can visualize the spine drawing out through the crown of the head and out behind the sit bones. If this is not comfortable, we can always bend the knees a little bit to help us tilt the pelvis. Whatever feels good for you here, maybe we pedal out the feet a little bit, waking up the calves as well. Deep breaths, finding length on every exhale. One more breath here. And then rolling up onto the hands, slowly lowering down onto the belly, untucking the toes. Hands come underneath the shoulders, gaze slightly in front of the hands. And on your next inhale, press up, lifting the chest. Elbows are tucked in close to the sides. We're strengthening the lower back here. Keep breathing. On your next exhale, lower the forehead to the mat. Take a little rest. And then inhale, lift back up one more time. Exhale, let the forehead fall. Gently make your way into a seat, extending the legs out in front of you, flexing the feet. Again, we can always bend the knees a little bit to help us tilt the pelvis if we're very tight in the hip region. Sitting up nice and tall, as if there was a string to the base of your spine, drawing all the way up, 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 up through the crown of the head. Taking one deep breath here. And then on your next exhale, we can slowly 
Tiptoe the fingertips down towards the feet. So keeping a flat back. Stretching out the hamstrings. It's all connected. Especially with this big nerve. It starts in the back and wraps all the way around the front. It's a big one. One more breath, make it deep. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale, lifting the chest back up. We're gonna take the left leg, cross it gently over the right, finding a twist. Wrapping that left arm around the knee. Reaching the right hand back. Just a gentle spinal twist. Finding even more length, creating more space, more decompression. Reversing all the tightness. Grounding down through the sit bones. And exhale to gently release and switch sides. Crossing the right leg over the left. Not forcing anything, just finding what feels good, what feels relieving. Using your breath to calm the body and the mind. Exhale to come back to center. Scooting up a little bit on the mat and coming on to the back nice and slow. Placing the left foot on the mat, right ankle comes on top of the knee. Taking a moment here to just open the hips, sending this knee Taking a moment here to open the hips, sending this knee back. And then lifting the left foot, reaching under, wrapping around the left thigh, pulling the legs into the chest. Feeling this probably everywhere in the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, the hips. And also feeling the pressure of the lower back being supported by the mat, flexing the feet, Protecting those knees. Staying here for a few breaths. Relaxing a little bit more with every exhale. Gently releasing, unraveling the legs, planting the right foot, crossing over and opening through the left hip. Noticing each sensation before lifting the legs and pulling them into the chest. Only going as far as feels good. what it's all about today. Relief, not pain. This pose targets the piriformis as well, that deep muscle in the glutes, helping relieve back pain. Sending your awareness there, you're the lower back and the glutes. Taking deep, full breaths. Gently unraveling, 
pulling the knees into the chest for a final little relief posture, whatever feels good here, maybe a small little rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Maybe we hug ourselves, bringing our head into the knees, extending through the spine. Maybe we find little hip circles, opening up a little more, making sure we reverse them. Whatever your body is calling for to end this practice. And I thank you for joining me today, taking a little bit of self-care, and I really hope we could find some relief for you. So I would love to know how this went for you down below, and I hope to see you again on the mat very soon. Happy healing, friends. Namaste.